program. The reason she was in sixth she fell on the triple X in the short program. Now she's setting up for her signature jump, the triple axel, which hasn't been part of lady skating for over 10 years. A forward takeoff, three and a half revolutions. <laughs> and she makes it a combination, triple axel, double toe. The senior ladies are going to be hearing about this young woman. Next up, the triple Lutz, the jump she fell on in the short program. Oh, that was supposed to be in combination with a triple toe. But right back with a triple flip. With not much speed, right into a triple south. Great concentration. To give you an idea of the depth of ladies skating in Japan, Mai Asada is relatively new on the international scene. She has a 12-year-old sister, Mao, who beat her at Japanese nationals, but was too young to compete here. And Mao, we understand, does a triple, triple, triple combination. I guess we'll see that at next year's World Juniors. Triple loop, barely hanging on to that landing. And here's another attempt at the triple lutz. Making that a combination, triple let's double toe. Clearly got her focus back. Though she may get some people noticing that her triple lutz is truly a flip. She takes off of the inside edge. And Nancy, it's been fun to watch. These young Japanese skaters, they're so unassuming and they really seem like a team. They revel in each other's success and um, they seem unaffected by all that they can do and all of their accomplishments. It's really amazing. They have such big jumps when they do them. They are great. spin, one of three spin requirements in the long program. And ending with speed. She looks a little relieved. My Asada, Japan. The youngest member of Team Japan, 14-year-old Mai Asada. We'll check her marks, and then teammate Nikki Yondo tries her quadruple jump when we return. And word from the referee's desk is that they are not going to ratify Mai Asada's triple axel. They're not going to give her credit for it, because if you watch the landing, she lands almost forward, and this jump is supposed to be landed backwards. She lands almost half a turn shy of completing the rotation. In any case, by a five to four judges vote, she beat Bibi Liang in the free skate and is in first place.